Hello, today we are going to take a look at something interesting. In that Ziploc bag, I've got a Taser X26 battery. This is from my Duty Taser. It was discarded because of not holding any charge. It was marked as need to be replaced. And it is a quite expensive battery. And what's the worst, it is non-rechargeable one. So when your taser is saying that you need to replace the battery, you are basically grabbing this unit and throwing it away. So it's not only a wasteful, but it is quite expensive. And as you can see, we've got a lot of pins that are communicating with the taser. On the bottom, that's actually the only thing that I like and what's better from a phaser because if you stuck it into the grip, you've got here a holder for a cartridge. So you can have your spare cartridge in the in the place of the of the handle. So it is really really nice to have a a spare one on you but it is really really interesting because you might say you might have and say to me this is a life-saving device it must work so it need to be expensive it need to have like a special magic and I agree but at the same time when you've got like a Zoll German AED, Automatic External Defibrillator, that is used for basically jump-starting your heart if it's going to pump in a iridical way. So if you've got a problem with the, with the electrical impulses, you can restart it. And that's definitely a life-saving device that you trust that it's going to work each time that you take it from the wall and it's using a Duracell CR123 commercial batteries. So life-saving device, CR123 lithium batteries and it's okay. But Taser X26, you need to buy this very expensive battery. So let's see what's inside. Let's try to crack the enclosure and maybe there is something magic, but maybe not. Maybe we are just overpaying and there is absolutely no need and you could basically put a... And I can see something funny right now. Can you see something funny? Because... I can see something funny and I swear to you I didn't open it in front of the camera we've got a Duracell 1 2 3 batteries I swear god I didn't open it before that's what is used on the Zoll AAD that's why I know this is a good brand and they are used on the medical application and this is what you are paying for you are paying for two batteries and a small AC that is making sure that you cannot replace them by yourself so this is what you are paying for you are paying extra for a piece of junk that you are going to end up on the landfill and the cell that are commercially available. You can go and you can buy those two cells and you should be able to pop those two batteries by yourself and don't waste uh, the expire money. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting, see you next time and bye bye.